All right, I've uh, got another problem here. Uh, so here we're working with uh, some magnitudes, taking magnitudes of vectors and adding vectors. Okay, so we have two vectors, vector a, which is 2, comma 7, comma 0. So now we're in three dimensions, but uh, nothing's too different. Uh, you do pretty much the same procedures that you would in two dimensions. And vector b equals um, uh, 3i hat minus 4j hat minus 1k hat. If you've been watching my videos, then you know I prefer this notation. It lets me see each of the components very quickly. Okay, um, so part I, we want the magnitude of vector A. Easy enough. When we want the magnitude of something, we take the square root of the sum of the squares of each component. What I mean is we take the square root of 2 squared plus 7 squared plus 0 squared equals the square root of 53, whatever that turns out to be. Part 2, we want the magnitude of B. Easy enough. 3 squared plus 4 squared plus, and I'll write this negative here just for fun, but we're always squaring these terms, so a negative sign is never going to matter. Uh, so that's going to be what, 16 plus 9, that's 25, is that square root of 26? I sure hope so. 16 plus 9 is 25, yep. Uh, I guess my microphone just died, so hopefully you can still hear me. For part 3, we want the magnitude of A plus B. So I want the magnitude of 2 plus 3 is 5. 7 plus negative 4 is 3, and 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1. And this equals the square root of 5 squared plus 9 squared plus 1 squared, whatever that comes out to be. And then part 4, um, we are doing a minus b. So we want the magnitude of a minus b, and that's going to be the magnitude of 2 minus 3 is negative 1, 7 minus negative 4 is 11, and 0 minus negative 1 is 1. So this is the square root of 1 squared plus 11 squared plus 1 squared. Wow, look at all those 1s. That was not intended. Uh, so uh, that's how we can do it. Um, when you're adding vectors, you just add them component by component. Um, it's important to note um, adding vectors uh, you, you're always adding them in Cartesian coordinates. So if you're given a vector in polar coordinates and you need to add it to another vector, you should convert both of them into rectangular coordinates or Cartesian coordinates, uh, and then you can just add them up directly. So we want to add the x component with the x component, the y component with the y component, and so on. Uh, yeah, and that's how we do this one.